Hello subscriber and viewer. Now we are in the next tutorial of Android tutorial series. In this tutorial we will see weight sum and layout weight. And I request you please see my previous tutorial for the better understanding. So our topic is weight sum and layout weight. First we will see why we need to use this attribute. Suppose if you are making program and placing the three component like button or any other component and if you are changing from one mode into another mode means if you have portrait mode and if you are changing portrait into landscape mode and if you want the output like that means if you use the weight sum and layout weight in short no space will be left in right hand side okay no space will be left so if you want like that you have to use weight sum and layout weight and if you don't use this two attribute and if you are changing the portrait into uh, landscape mode then in the right hand side you will get the space like this okay you observe this space and your app will not look professional and nobody will use your app means in program if you are using only margin attribute you will face the problem of the spacing like that if you are changing the orientation from portrait into landscape and if you use weight sum and layout weight whether you have portrait or landscape mode you will not have any problem next thing comes in the coding part so when we will open android studio we will use such kind of coding so for placing the components like that you have to use horizontal orientation okay that we already discussed in previous tutorial and after horizontal orientation you have to use this important coding weight sum weight sum equal to 3 because we are going to uh, specify sorry here so because we are going to uh, use weight sum 3 because we have 3 component so that's why I have decided to create 3 part and after that here weight equals to 1 here you observe the coding layout underscore weight equal to 1 because the each component will occupy one part okay and here there is no role of width because we are using weight and layout underscore weight attribute we are using weight sum and layout underscore weight so no there is no role of the height sorry there is no role of width so that's why this value is 0 dp okay so this power bunch of code is important if you are using the if you are using the weight sum and layout weight now you will get little bit confusion because we are not in android studio but before that i am going to make your concept clear now we are in the next orientation and I am showing the bunch of coding also. So here yeah, we are in vertical orientation. If you use vertical orientation and placing three components of button, you will get like that. And if you want to specify the common place for them, common spacing for them, you have to use weight sum equal to three. Means you have to divide into three parts. Suppose you have decided into three parts, you have to write weight sum equal to three. Each one should occupy equal spacing. You have to write layout weight equal to one. And here there will be no role of height you have to specify height equal to 0 dp otherwise your output will not look proper and then after that if you are changing from one mode into another there will be no problem it will be adjust because why we have used weight sum and layout weight attribute so it's very simple not difficult and all this bunch of code and everything we will use in android studio okay if you refer this presentation properly then you can easily use in the android studio so i hope friend your concept of weight sum and layout weight is clear and please don't skip next tutorial because in the next tutorial we are going into android studio and we will use all the bunch of coding thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel